Prince Charles was deeply worried about Camilla after Princess Diana's tragic death, it has emerged. Camilla, now Duchess of Cornwall, was in her home in Raymill, near Chippenham, Wiltshire, when the news came in that the Princess of Wales had died. According to royal expert Penny Jr., the press were besieging Camilla's home within hours of Diana's death on August 31, 1997. Ems Jr. said in her biography entitled The Duchess the media was eager to talk to the woman who had apparently been the cause of so much misery in the princess's short life. Meanwhile, Camilla was apparently terrified for Charles, because she knew the public would blame him for the tragedy. While the car crash in Paris that killed the princess was an accident, many blamed the prince because she would never have been there with Dotty Fate in the first place had their marriage not broken down. Julia Cleverdon who worked for Charles for more than 30 years, described what life was like for Charles and Camilla in the immediate aftermath of Diana's death. She said, that must have been an appalling period for her, and I thought she was courageous and humble and decent. He was in agony about it, he really, really was. And the fact that she was prepared to go through all this for him, I think, illustrates what an incredibly strong relationship and partnership they've had. Knowing a bit about it at that time, when we ever talked about it, he was in genuine agony about what she was putting up with. Even when the news first came in, in the early hours of August 31st, it was Camilla who comforted Charles. The Prince of Wales was in Balmoral, Scotland with the Queen and the rest of the royal family for the summer. Despite the Queen being just feet away in the next room, Charles and his mother did not go to each other either for comfort or to chat logistics. Instead, Charles phoned Camilla and several other friends. Ems Jr. said, Never was the relationship between the prince and his mother thrown more starkly into relief than it was on the terrible night. Despite how helpful Camilla had been for Charles, the Queen was still unhappy about their relationship. According to Ems Jr., the Queen had wanted her gone before Diana's death and felt no differently after it. This stance was not because she had any personal dislike for Camilla, in fact, she had apparently been very fond of her when she was married to Andrew Parker Bowles, but what she meant for Charles. The Queen viewed her as responsible for all the disasters that had befallen her son. She was backed up in this view by her private secretary, Sir Robert Fellows, who was Diana's brother-in-law. However, Charles insisted that Camilla was a non-negotiable part of his life and began to develop a PR plan for introducing her to the public. After putting the brakes on their relationship for a time out of sensitivity to William and Harry, Charles and Camilla started appearing in public together. They very gradually raised the profile of their relationship, by going to the same event, then arriving together, then kissing in public. Even the Queen came round to a grudging acceptance in June 2000, when she finally met Camilla. The meeting took place at the 60th birthday of King Constantine, former King of Greece, at Charles' home in Highgrove in Gloucestershire. The Queen's attendance at an event she knew Camilla would be at was seen as a sign that she was finally acknowledging their relationship.